Thanks for staying tuned. This is still Breakfast Central and it's time for Sports Updates. I'm Samson Olayde. We're getting Sports Updates at this time with Athletics, where World Athletics has confirmed a list of 11 nominees for the Women's World Athlete of the Year, with African superstars Fit Kipiagon of Kenya and the Ethiopian duo of Tigist, Asefa and Gudav Segai headlining the list. World record breakers Fit Kipiagon, Tigist Asefa, Segai, Maria Perez and Femke Ball are joined by sprint champions Shakari Richardson and Sherika Jackson, as well as world javelin champion Aruka Kitguchi, world high jump champion Yaroslava Mahuki, and the world triple jump champion Yulima Rojas, as well as the 3,000 meters steeple chase champion Winfred Yavi as the nominees for the Women's World Athlete of the Year 2023. Asefa, Ethiopia's world record holder in the marathon, as well as Sagai, the Ethiopian world 10,000 meters champion, including the Diamond League 5,000 meters champion and world record in 5,000 meters, including that of Fred Kipiegon, who is the world's 1,500 meters and 5,000 meters champions, including holding world records in 1,500 meters, mile and 5,000 meters. The winners will be revealed on World Athletics social media platforms on December 11th. We we'll wish African superstars the very best right there. Away from that to football matters, 24 players have arrived at the camp of the Super Eagles in Paltamau, Portugal, ahead of the team's friendlies against Saudi Arabia and Mozambique. The Super Eagles camp for the friendlies opened on Tuesday, and the trio of Kelechi Hiyanacho, Fisayo Dele Bashiru, and Frank Onyeka arrived camp on Wednesday alongside goalkeeper Maduka Okoye. There is, however, uncertainty over the arrival date of goalkeepers Olon Leke Ojo and Adebayo Adele. The Eagles will face Saudi Arabia on Friday, October 13th, before clashing with Mozambique on Monday, October the 16th. Both friendly games are part of preparations for the Eagles for next month's 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Lesotho and Zimbabwe. Away from that to tennis, local favorite Zheng Kiwen beat top seeded Maria Sakari 7 6 7 2 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinals of the Zhengzhou Open on Wednesday. Zheng, who is ranked 24th in the world, will next play Anahilina Kalinina, who earlier defeated qualifier Vera Zenareva 7 5 6 1. In a similar vein, Jasmine Paolini saved four match points as she claimed an unlikely win against number 10 ranked player. Caroline Garcia, 3-6-6-4-7-5 for the Italian player's first head-to-head -head win in five attempts. The third first ranked Paulina will play either China's open finalist Ludmilla Samsonova or Laura Sigmund in the quarterfinals. Paulini punches through. What a victory for her. To so India we go where the Cricket World Cup is taking place. Captain Rohit Sharma's since century sprinted India to an emphatic eight-wicket World Cup win over Afghanistan in Delhi. Rohit crunched the sparkling 131 from 84 balls before India reached their target of 273 with 15 overs to spare. Ashmatullah Shahidi made 80 to put Afghanistan on course for a more challenging target, but Jasprit Bremer's 4-39 had them end on a 2-72-8. It is the second defeat in two games for Afghanistan, while India have won both games. The hosts joined New Zealand and Pakistan in having a perfect record after two games and now play their fierce rivals Pakistan in the most anticipated match of the tournament in Ahmedabad on Saturday. Afghanistan, meanwhile, will stay put in Delhi to meet defending champions England on Sunday. And wrapping up sports update at this time, we delve into the world of basketball. Milwaukee Bucks head coach Adrian Griffin announced on Wednesday that Giannis Atetokounmpo and Damian Leland will both play on Sunday night against the Los Angeles Lakers. Atetokounmpo and Leland sat out the team's first two preseason games, but stood up for a star-studded matchup against the Los Angeles Lakers duo of Anthony Davis and LeBron James. Although they are yet to appear in games, Ateto Kumbo, who is a two-time MVP, and Lillian, a nine-time All-Star player, have both practiced together. It says the first time in either player's career they will play alongside another superstar, a pairing that is exciting for Milwaukee, even though Griffin 
at speeds there will be a learning curve. The box acquired Leland in the blockbuster trade from the Portland Trail Blazers one week before training camp, but have eased their stars into action during the exhibition. And that's it in Sports Update at this time. It's back to you, Osarage and Joe. All right, thank you very much. Um, any um, clues on when the EPL is back? <laughs> <laughs> next weekend. Next weekend, okay. <laughs> this coming weekend or the next weekend? The next one. Oh, the next okay. one. We, we, we cannot wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I absolutely can't wait. I, I quite understand, you know, um, the, the sentiment behind the international breaks and how it looks like it's dull or lull as it were. But um, you can't take out the fact that if it's a competitive fixture, um, it's always one to look out for when players represent their nations. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Samson. Thank you very much for having me.